to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. Isaiah 61 verse 3 Ashes mean the in and ugly situations in your life. What represents the ash in your life at the moment? Are you challenged with sickness? Do you have any trouble with finances? Is it a marital or relationship problem that you're dealing with? Are you currently unemployed or facing tribulations in your workspace? Perhaps your challenge is even different from all these. Maybe you've been trying so hard to get something right. You're searching for inspiration for your job or you've been trying so hard at your career or academics. Whatever it may be, you must remember that God is in your side and He will not leave you nor forsake you. He will change the whole situation for your good. He will turn that pain into dancing, those ashes into beauty. Hold on to God who has kept you all this while, and as He has done it before, He will surely do it again. Remember, He doesn't change or fail. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. God is able of turning ashes into beauty. He's capable of changing your pain and grief into beauty and rejoicing. One thing that makes our ashes more painful to deal with is the temptation to think we're on the wrong path because we're faced with grief or pains. However, just because your path isn't as smooth as you would want it to be doesn't mean it's not your path. If you were sure that God's path for you before the ashes, then you should still hold firm because it's still God's path for you. God didn't say that our paths will be smooth and free of challenges. What he said is that, quote, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they will not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned or scorched, nor will the flame kindle upon you. End quote. Isaiah 43 verse 2. It's quite important to note that God didn't say if you pass through hard times. Rather, he said when you pass through the hard times, he'll be there by your side, standing right next to you to fight your battles and on your side. He will choose you over any opposition that comes your way. You must note that each person has their ashes, their pain, and it's best you understand and accept it and let God turn the worries into dancing. If God has promised to turn sorrows into joy, it's because there was first a need, a weakness, ash that needed to be turned into beauty, and He's capable of turning situations around. Even when you don't see it, God is working for your sake. He's about to turn your ashes into some massive beauty. God makes beauty out of ashes. He makes beautiful situations come out of ugly situations. And He has a plan already that He's working on just for you. God's power is in action over your weaknesses and ashes. He will make beauty out of those weak, ugly, and bad moments. Don't give up yet. God will crown you with His glory. For your sake, He will not keep silent. He will not remain quiet. Till your salvation shines out like the bright dawn, like a blazing torch. The nations will see your glory and you will be called by a new name that the Lord shall give to you. You will no longer be called deserted. The Lord will hold you in his hand for all to see. A splendid crown in the hand of God you shall be. Ashes refer to our deepest wounds, deepest griefs, the very things that you twirl and twirl in bed without finding sleep. It refers to places and situations in our lives where we are prone to despair and where things are difficult. The term beauty for ashes isn't just a sentiment. It comes directly from the Bible. When we speak of ashes, what comes to your mind? Ashes are things that bring you into humbleness. It shows an expression of grief, pain, or suffering. The term beauty for ashes was said by the prophet Isaiah, who was declaring God's favorable year to the Israelites. 
He said that God has anointed him with his spirit to help the people. Then he said, quote, and to provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair." End quote. God's imagination and thought toward the Israelites wasn't just to give them a restored land with their homes rebuilt, or to make their gardens and flocks flourish and grow after a long time of bondage and pain. No, rather, God used an exchange language while speaking to Isaiah. He said, beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning. This means that God isn't just interested in helping them out of their difficulties and challenges. He's much more interested in taking the bad situations and calling forth good in exchange for it. Beauty for ashes. He won't just sweep the ashes away. Rather, he would give beauty for the much ashes. The same way God promised the Israelites, he also will bring it to pass in your life. God will give you great blessings, great restoration, and great joy for all the negative things that represent ashes in your life. God making beauty out of ashes is an amazing picture of what He can do, and we already saw that with the people of Israel. God is a joy giver. He gives joys that are beyond the surface. He will extend deep into you and exchange your weaknesses and pains into joy and more joy. He will release you from any bondage that is bringing you sorrow. Don't let your pains or troubles make you feel defeated. Fully hand over your ashes to God and let Him make beauty from them. Let God's presence continually be beautiful to you. Let Him calm the storm for you while He's making the pottery of your beauty. He would make the pottery of beauty and give you while taking away the ugly things in your life. The Hebrew word used to describe beauty for ashes is from the Hebrew word that isn't easily translated to English. The word means a headdress, crown, or tiara. This means that God is going to wipe out the ashes and crown you with a beautiful tiara. If you can accept your pain and grief, then you would be able to overcome it by leaving it at the feet and presence of God. He will put on new headdresses and tiaras for you and everyone would see it and recognize God's efforts in your life. God's hand is wide and He will carry you in your pain and weaknesses. He will replace your pain with a purpose. Hold on to the word of God's promise and watch Him turn those ashes into beauty. Not every day can be a happy day. This is reality, so you must accept it and leave it to God. Many times, the days can be filled with so much pain and grief that leaves a deep mark and scar in our hearts. It may be the loss of a loved one, a job, or a hard diagnosis. Whatever it is, God will change it for you and give you beauty for those ashes. God making beauty from your ashes means that God has presumed those ashes. He's there with you in your pain and struggles, and so He will continue to provide you companionship and eventually change the situation around for your good. Remember that everything, everything works together for good for those that love God. God's promise of making beauty out of ashes is God's way of calling you outward, to remind you of the great plans He has for you. He doesn't intend that you stay stuck sitting in those ashes. That's not His plan for you. There's a beauty and shining that comes after the ashes and burns. The ashes are only temporary. They can't remain forever. However, the glory of God shines forever. It will shine through every weakness and pain in your life. There's hope. There's grace, there's beauty for those of your pains. Don't give up just yet. God is already working on plans to bring you out of those ashes. He will make beauty from your ashes, and when He's done, you and others would marvel at the great things that you've become. Don't give up. Don't be frustrated. Rather, give up your cares and burdens to God and let Him work on them. Beauty for Ashes